Good morning, you two. It's your man on the rage, George Page, coming to you live, live on you too. And this is for a message to my girl, Sarah McMahon. I've been a fan for you for some time, Sarah. I've been following you on YouTube, on Instagram, and other social media. And I know uh, last weekend you took a a bad defeat against Juliana Pena. And, you know, you hadn't fought for almost a year. It's just pretty much been a year since your last fight. And, you know, you, you were doing pretty good, but, you know... The opinion she needed to bounce back after her uh, her submission loss to GDR, and you know it's just it was just the outcome, you know. And you were fighting hard, uh, Sarah. You were fighting hard. You you, you wanted that win, you know. It's just it just you know wasn't there for you. And I'm sorry to say, and you know, Keith Peterson, what to do with that neck tattoo? Why do you look like? You should be an insurance salesman. You just, <laughs> I mean, that, that neck tattoo and you don't go together. I don't know why. But, Sarah, don't worry. Don't fret. I mean, you've been in the game for quite some time, you know, and being a, a, a former Olympic champion, a silver medalist, you know, and you know how it is, loss. You know, you, you, you missed the gold medal by just, by just by, a, you know, a bit, and, you know, and you have a silver. That's better than what, you know, around the drowsy lousy you had. But the future's not done for you, Sarah. There's a lot more for you have for you. You know, you've been with against a champion. And she's a bronze medalist. <laughs> and you know what you and you lost to some some good fighters. You know, you lost to Marin Reno. You know. And you still have something to get you still have something to prove. You know? You're American badass, America, um, uh, Sarah. You're the best. You're beautiful. I'm telling you, you are beautiful. You know, you got a lot to think about. You know, you just, you you can set up your own plan. Or right now, you right to your team Winchester, Coach Sermon Man. You know, maybe you should think about having your own gym, teaching the future. You know, I think you know it's that's a good idea. Having your own wrestling and jiu-jitsu, jiu-jitsu school, you know, and like I said, you have the best body in the world. I'm honestly, I love your body. I like I said, I'm admire women with great fit bodies. You know, you are way buff. You know, and like I said, this is also yeah, you could be an instructor, teaching how you know people have to get in shape. You know, and like I said, you're beautiful. Your wife, and your mother. And I think you have a great future in this sport, outside of the sport. You know, you, you, you had your days. But maybe it's time to move on. Sarah, so really think about what you want to do. You know, like I said, you know, uh, there's a story right now that, that Dana White thinking about cutting about 60 fighters. And with this loss, it looks like you're on the chopping block. But maybe not. But maybe just one more fight, one more fight. And if it's a fight that you get on top of, that's good. I'm a fan of you, Sir man, because you're a champion. This is from me, a fan, all the way to George Page. Once again, this is all the way to George Page, to my, to, my, to my Olympia champion, my most buff woman in the UFC, Sir man. Like, don't like, or subscribe. I'm out. I'm nice, a bit.